Hola guys and girls and welcome to the first gameplay video of the deck Sage Spence Davenport and let's hop right in and see how this game can perform on the online uh, I want to say ladder but it's not really ladder like on the online environment I want to say Okay, we're facing John Marco. Oh, I need to select my deck as well. Um, we are probably playing this, and we are facing John Marco 1992. And let's start the game. Uh, let's see, he has Illuali Griffone Maga della Sorgente. Got like a fun, and uh, I, I, I no idea. Obviously, no idea what deck it is. My opponent starts, and we have the Dusk Runner, Seeker Needle, Cop Hunting. Ooh, yeah, I mean, I like it since we have the Seeker Needle. Bad Penny combo already. The Dust Run I would keep because you don't want to play with the Bad Penny. I want to keep the hand. We have the Bulwark as well, which is not as good to go with Bad Penny because obviously we don't want to give it armor because then we can't kill it anymore with Seeker Needle. So we have to be a bit careful with that. But first, let's see how he starts. But having this combo from the start is already pretty, pretty nuts. Pretty nice. So. Let's see if our opponents will mulligan, or if not. Either way, he plays Brobna, Dis, and Shadows. Shadows, of, of course, always troubling, because that means you'll never know if you actually get the key you want. Uh, he starts with Dis and plays the Sucker Boss. Okay, that's already annoying, but I don't really have an answer for that currently. So we just play the Bad Penny and the Seeker Needle and call it a turn. Yes, and draw only one card, which is the Nifl Ape. So, sadly we do not have an answer for that currently, since I can make some 2 damage, like attack, and then kill my, uh, do 1 damage more with the Seeker Needle. But other things I could do, I could just reap, do 1 damage with Seeker Needle, and then in a different turn I actually would have an answer. But, yeah, currently my, could, depending on what he does, we could play Untamed as well, like play the Nifl Ape, do 2 damage, and then next turn he's in range of Seeker Needle. Stuck a so early is annoying if you don't have an answer already. To be fair, my deck. I don't think my deck has a lot of answers which would be able to get rid of that in turn two. Dominion Bubble and Rips, I want to say. Control okay, what do I have to play? Hopefully, Untamed. Shadows, okay, I have to play Shadows again. Oh, what did it happen? Did I disconnect? Did I disconnect? Oh no, I just <laughs> clicked there. Okay, we are back. So yeah, I have to play Shadows, obviously. Killed my uh, Bad Penny. So, what we can do, do I want an Ember right now, or do I'd rather get rid of this soon, so I use this to just get one damage on you, then play the Bad Penny again, end my turn, and the next turn he is at least in range of Seeker Needle, or potentially even with the Corporal Hunting. So yeah, gaining an I could have gained an Ember, but this opens a lot more doors for me to get rid of the Sucker Boss next turn, either with the Seeker Needle or with the Corporal Hunting from Untamed. And this makes him not attack my bad penny basically, because then he would just sacrifice it for nothing. He got Shadow on his own and plays the Nexus. Okay, so he can use my artifacts now and a Dodger. And Diapnus Master. Oh, damn. That's okay. Now I definitely want to play the Corp Hunter because then I can get rid of these two. And that means I can play this creature to the left, then play the Corp of Hunting, do one damage to you and one damage to you. And end my turn. So problematic is now that he can use my own artifacts with this and then kill my bad penny and gain the ember for that. So next is definitely the next target we have to get rid of. But if he gets rid of my bad penny and our Kai Sanctum, like we can see I have to also famine, I control the least powerful creature which currently is uh, Nithil Ape and tied with Nexus. Place punch, okay. Place the war chest. And the Gun of Command and Valder. Okay, I actually have a pretty good Sanctum turn next. Because I can play the this one first, get rid of my own Bad Penny, and then kill the this guy. Yeah, so I think that's the best we can do right now. First play the Horseman of Famine to the left, get rid of my own. Then play the Bulwark to the right. Then play the Horseman of... Uh, no, wait, the Horseman of Pestilence, and then the Horseman of Pestilence to the right. And get rid of you. And the uh, Dust of the Heavens not really useful currently, so I just keep it as it is. And yeah. 
You obviously can get rid of one with this Valre, even though they have two armor, that's not enough to uh, get rid to prevent eight damage from happening. Ah. I really see how it performs. Then you could use this as well to like to kill uh, to attack something, but not like I can see anything. Like you see, I did not able to generate one ember so far. So I was too busy answering what's on the board. But we will see how, how it works out. Currently, sadly, the weakest creature on the board is my own bulwark. So I most likely won't do the thing. Face watch has and kills one of my which is it? The one oh the bulwark actually, okay. Oh yeah, that means he can kill one as well with the uh, dodger now. Smarty, smarty, smart. And yeah, gets rid of this one. Okay. So. It's grenade snip. What did he, what, what did he do? To... Ah, use Valder again to fight again. Okay, so he didn't use dodger. Okay, that makes sense, obviously. Was a bit confused there. So, how do we do things now? He has only free amber. So I think I just attack him. Because I uh, cause Sanctum attack him because then my the effect is not happening. Fight you. I lose to Ember, but I have zero either way, so it's not like that really matters. Then we can play you, Dust of Heaven, we I do have to play to keep draw another card on, and just get an Ember. I think yes, I have enough. I think I have enough Ember control left in the deck, so I can just play this one Ember and draw another card. Okay, this already looks like a lot of shadow cards. <laughs> very, very good analysis on my part. A lot of shadow signs means a lot of shadow cards. That's the, uh, the these are the, this is the commentary you subscribe for. Okay, ghostly hand, god damn it! I can currently only I can steal two to be fair, if need be. If need be, like if he reaps with that, I could steal two in total. And I could get rid of that in the process, which could be pretty nice. So yeah, it seems like Shadows is the way to go currently. If he only generates two Ember, that is. If he generates more, then I might have to think about if, I, if it's worth it to get rid of my stealing effects now already, or use them for later. But currently he's thinking a lot if he wants to uh, fight, I want to assume. Get rid of my my horseman. Or he could just reap. These are the, or that. Both would make sense. I prefer him reaping, because then I can play the the Nerf Blast. Steal one, do, do damage, and then he's in range of the Seeker Needle. And I can reap with him as well, and steal another one. Okay, Sacrifice the, the javelin. Oh, he wants to get rid of Sacrifice, okay. I guess. Because otherwise... Lend his whispers, okay. And then he reaps. No, he fights. Okay, he has two. Okay, and I can get rid of that as well with the. Okay, yeah. No problem, no problem. So I can just. I have to call shadows, obviously. And the first creature. Yeah, I have to call shadows. And. Do to a creature. So I could do that, kill that, but it makes more sense to kill with that. So, first do this, then play the Nerf Blast, because then I don't have to do damage to anything. I just steal one, because otherwise I would. Uh, it, it's mandatory to do the damage. You have to do two damage, so I would have, I would have to kill my own Bad Penny. And this way I gain Ember for killing it, so now I can play the Spit Sigil, play the Bad Penny, play this upgrade on the Bad Penny, and reap for him to steal another one, and we are both at five. Boom. Okay, now of course it's problematic because he has speed shield, he can very easily get rid of my bad penny. But that was the only way I could get rid of the, the amber he had. Was sadly the only way. Now the first creature always enters ready, so he needs only any, any creature is fine, since bad penny only has one power. Yes, he can play this, and he can attack, and boom. Then he plays the succubus. Good thing is my creatures enter already as well as well. Ember M and the thing. Think of a jigger. So I obviously want to get rid of the Ember M if possible and the Succubus as well, but I don't think it's possible to get rid of both. 
Yeah, it's actually not possible. But he's only at 5 Ember, so that's already cool. Cool, 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 cool. So, what I can do is I can just call Go for Untamed. And play these three creatures and use this to fight the Ember Imp. Then I would stay at 5 Ember as well. The other option is I play the Do Fairy first, get my 7 Ember. Okay, he plays the Rise and get his. gets his. Uh, drop my creatures back. Okay. So you can make me lose two already with that. So I think it's better to just play you first. Then play you. Left, then play you. Oh, no. Did I discard? I missed picking this card. God, God damn it. Uh, let's hope that doesn't bite us in the butt, but he can fight you now. Alright, I had to just. It was automatically discard. I had to. to yeah, that was my bad. That was my bad. That was pretty much my bad. Yeah, I should have. I had to. Because. Since he had the emblem on the field, the play option wasn't even there, so the top button, which I was like automatically clicking because I wanted to play it, was discarded because the play button wasn't there. So I should, I should have ever read, <laughs> probably read better what I'd click, or I should have just killed the emblem first. Well, damn, okay, that's a bit annoying to get this discarded, obviously, because that's a good, that's a nice artifact. It's obviously not an, uh, an amazing artifact, but it's definitely good, so it would have helped. <laughs> Because that would have been the case, like, if that, I've discarded either way, I should have, probably shouldn't have to attack the Ember Imp then, and probably the Sucker Burst, because Ember Imp was always in range of Relentless Whispers as well. Oh yeah, that was, I, yeah, even after I discarded that on, on accident, I should have attacked the Sucker Burst to draw another card. But now, in theory, I have next turn, I, I have a key, potentially, like, I reaping that, I'm at 7, play the key charge, and boom, have my first key. Whereas well, I could play Shadows as well to just gain a lot of Ember. Cross Bobna, Pile of Skulls, what does this do again? Each time an enemy creature is destroyed during your turn, a friendly creature captures one. Now this one enters ready, he can kill my bear, I want to assume, because this is elusive, he can't kill this. Oh wait, he can, if he uh, got the commands. So we're gaining a good amount of Ember, which I probably want to prevent. Which I very probably want to prevent. He has the grenade snip as well, and the what did he got? Uh, it was three creatures, right? Uh, and the oh, and the dragon, yeah, and the dragon. She can play actually now, right? Since here's the fairy. This one captures one. Yeah, he, the, the I think he doesn't really know how understand how watches works because you have to use watches after you kill something, not before. Otherwise, it's not working. So yeah, see, now he's still at 5 Ember. So, I guess Shadows is the best I can do right now. Mm, yeah, 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 because I can... Yeah, go on Shadows. I want to keep the... I don't need this right now. So I can first play this creature to the left. Then it's question, what does me help more? Stealing one is always better, so I probably sh should first do the damage. Does the order matter? I could attack with the Bad Penny as well. Yeah, that's better. Attack with Bad Penny. It doesn't matter because I can reap with Bad Penny as well. So it's no difference. So what I'm thinking about, I can either do the one damage with Bad Penny, attack and play it again, kill Bad Penny with this, gain Ember, or just use this immediately and then gain Ember through Bad Penny reaping. So it does it doesn't make a difference. So whatever, I just use the sketching ability on the Sucker Bus. Play Rent is Whisper. Do two damage to the Sucker Bus. Steal one in the process. And then I still have you left. And there's no use in you attacking currently something, so I should reaper you. And you I want to keep, because you're not I don't need to steal everything. So we just end the turn for now. Okay, and this is a card I like a lot. Uh, I like to see a lot. Especially if I have a spell switch out, because that's just a free destroy a flank creature. Oh, ah. You came a little too late, because I already played. Uh, I think all of my artifacts. I played these two and the other one discarded. I don't think I have any artifact left. So yeah, Card of Phantom, you're a bit too late to the party. <laughs> so, with just what's on board, he can obviously destroy two by using the grenade snip. So it's not like I'm guaranteed to get a key. And he call, can call both this on, uh, or uh, Brobna to get the ember from that. 
We know one card in his hand is still the uh, the dragon, the Kalefi dragon, which doesn't really help him a lot. But yeah, if he calls Brovna or this, he can he can stop me from getting this key right here. Yeah, I've still like mm, Untamed is not the Shadow is still the best I can do right now. I feel like, like just looking at my hand. But first, let's see what he wants to do. Cold pop now, okay. He doesn't understand the war chest. He's, he has, you have to activate that at the end of the turn, man. I will, I will tell him that after the match, obviously, because I still want to win. But uh, oh, I can tell right. It's not. I, let's be nice. It's not a letter. It's not like I'm gathering points or gaining chains or something like that. Uh, I just tell him. I have to activate war chest after you fought. To gain the ember, not before. So yeah, let's just tell him that, so he knows what's yeah. That's that that is how it works. <laughs> because otherwise, it's it's not yeah. It doesn't help him. <laughs> like I said, it says you gain one ember for each enemy creature that was destroyed in the fight this turn. So it's but once you activate it, it's doesn't it doesn't help. Like since you didn't destroy anything. So um, shadow is obviously the best we can do right now. Cause for one, okay, do I, I do I want to decide when to lose my ember? Yes, I want to. So let's use this card ability. Get rid of you. Play this creature. And then rip you to kill you. Now I'm at 8 Ember, and then you can play this as well. And this as well. And he's at 5, and we're at 8. And like I said, Mag the Red I want to keep, because not like I need to steal more, right, more right now. Stealing more just would open me up to a bait and switch. So no need to do that for now. Oh yeah, let's see if he actually read or uh, takes my advice. He. He said, because yeah, that's, we, we can be nice like that, like it doesn't really, like I said, if this will be a tournament game, in a, which I will actually have later today, I wouldn't tell my opponent that obviously. I mean, I guess he would try to get the ember, like he plays this and then kill something once again, and then I would say, hey, wait, no, uh, you have to activate it after, and then the next one he would automatically do. But since this is all automated, I think he, yeah, he thought he would gain the ember, or thought the, the way the program is broken, but uh, yeah. That's how the war chest works. Be like it's different than loot the bodies. Loot the bodies is every time you destroy something this turn you gain ember. So you have to play this before fighting, and the war chest you have to activate after you fight. So you always have to. There are a lot of cards in in Brotner which activate with fighting. Like this time, obviously this just lays there. You don't have to activate that properly. So he called shadow. So that means probably some stealing is going on. He plays his own bullet eye. Okay, <laughs> that's that's pretty funny to get rid of my bullet eye. I want to assume. Oh, and the sign dagger, that's annoying. But we can get rid of that, if need be. So he probably gets rid of my own bullet eye, because otherwise it wouldn't make sense. And then the sign dagger damage he can do to something. It doesn't really matter the difference, so he just, yeah, does this. Oh, every time... Ah, he can capture two like that. Okay, I see. I see, I see, I see. But I still have six ember right now, so I'm still fine. Yeah, I have my first key. So now, how do I do things? How do I do things? I could call... Yeah, I have to call Shadows. I don't have to, but I want to get rid of the bullet eye, so... Uh, let's call Shadows. Play Mac the Red. Steal two, so he doesn't... He can't forge. Then we can fight with Mac the Red versus you. You lose your elusive. Then we attack you with the... You, and then we use your effect to get rid of you. Totally. Play with you again. And then we are fine. And five ember opponents owns five as well. So like I said, we are currently we are like I said. Sadly he can just steal two by getting rid of this. Which he can't with what he has on board. So that makes me hopeful that he maybe won't be able to. And we get the horseman of death. Okay, that's that's very nice because that means we can get our two horsemen we have in the discard pile. Our horseman pestilence and famine. Where is he? Here, back. And have a pretty strong sanctum turn. Okay, base the rogue ogre. Hey, so so no, it seems he doesn't didn't listen to me because yeah he yeah now I can do that and then he can steal two back. Yeah 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 yeah. 
But since we have the dust up to heaven, I'm actually fine with that. <laughs> they can make a fight as well. Get rid of my bad penny. Yep. And now I actually have a pretty nice... Oh, that's, that's gotta be a nasty turn. That's gotta be a nasty turn. Let's start. Okay, let's start. Let's, let's see. So first we want to play the dust up to heaven to reduce him to five. And gain one ember ourselves. Then we want to play the horseman of death. Ah, it's not that nasty, sadly, because I have to play the Horseman of Death first. Either we play the Horseman of Death. Boom. Then we get our Horsemen's back. Then we can play you. To do... It doesn't really matter which order it is. To do one damage to each creature of my opponent right here. What I was thinking is that he comes right into play. I can reap again and then do the second damage to him and to him so they both die. But sadly, that's not the case. But we can play the Horseman of Famine. Get rid of you. Gain our two Ember back. And then is the question, do I want to kill him? At the end of the turn, I played x one card, heals two, and yeah, I want to get rid of him, I feel like. So I just play the Shield of Justice, so I don't get any damage this turn, and I can fight him and survive and give an ammo back. And end my turn. Okay, and we have the bait and switch in our hand, which of either is, it's session right here, but it, that's just because of programming, like you can see, it is a Sanctum card. So I have to be careful about that, not thinking, because it's, it's a Shadow card in my hand here. So ahead of this, gets rid of the Pestilence, makes sense, makes sense, then he plays this guy. Does he want to fight or does he just want to steal one? He steals one, so he's back at six. Then he archives a card. So I can't really steal enough from him. With the things I have, yeah, he will get this key. I could bait and switch, which would reduce us both to five. But honestly, I don't think that's worth it. I'd rather keep the for more potent bait and switch turn. So what I could do right now is just, uh, but if I gain a lot of ember, he would he, he has a, he has his own bait and switch. He can potentially play. I could look his deck up if if he even has a bait and switch. But so what I rather do is just give me get me to six ember and not more. But does he have? If he, has, I mean, if he has bait and switch, I can bait and switch myself. So I think just, I just fuck it. In the tournament, I wouldn't do that. But since it's for nothing, I just risk it right here. Even if he has a bait and switch, I don't care. We play this creature to the left. We reap with you, then we kill you. Boom. Then we play you. You enter the game ready. Then we reap with you, and then I play you again. To the left, and then I end my turn. Yes, so now obviously we open for bait and switch, but yeah, I just uh, like I said in tournament I would look at my opponent's card as well and look for like at least key cards like the bait and switch if they have it. But since this is a more casual game, in a casual game with my with a friend, I wouldn't look at their card as well and just I just want to play this deck unseen. So let's just play like this. Like I said, this is not the smartest play. Usually I should play around the bait and switch, if especially if opponent has so shadows and didn't play it yet, but. Since it's the more casual game of thought, let's just let's just risk it. Let's just risk it for the biscuit. Because that's that's more fun. It's a bit more exciting. <laughs> and he calls a uh, Rotner. So that means he might have a burn a stockpile or something like that. Okay, so why did he do that? Because he was already ready. So yeah, he can fight now, kill something. Kills a bad penny, I lose one. And I captures one. It's okay, prevent me through that as well. So that's then you can fight him, fight with him again versus Silvertooth. Yes, versus Silvertooth. So what I can do is I, obviously I want my two Ember back. Place Crump. A War Drum. Okay, place War Drum. Gets him back into his into the play. So I could call just a Sanctum. And get my ember back by oh wait he did he did play oh i can i can okay I could, actually i could activate life web since he played three more creatures since he played this uh this then this and then this again but uh, he has nothing to see so you just call sanctum still you call sanctum play the bulwark so it's no we don't play the bulwark yet haha <laughs> big mistake because first you fight versus you so now the least powerful creature is 5 power, 5 power, 5 power, 6 power. The least powerful creature is the pit demon. So if I reap with you, I can kill the pit demon. 
and then I pay the Bulwark, because otherwise, the Bulwark would have been the 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 least powerful creature, and <laughs> that would have, would have been bad. So I can reap a few as well, and keep it at that. That's my turn. That's my turn. He has the bait and switch. That is okay. So he did have the bait and switch, special delivery. And that's it. But that means, uh, since that was his bait and switch, I can't reap few because that was destroying my own bulwark. So I could just reap two with this. The exhausting this doesn't really help because I can still ready with Gone of Command. So the question is uh, that would only gave me two amber. I think Untamed is the best option right now. Just play some cards, get some cards on board to the left. Then still exhausted. So he has to at least activate it once. And we gain the Ember. Then we could gain another one and another one, which, but that isn't enough for the key charge. So I want to keep the life web still in my hand. Then we reap a few. And then we end our. Oh, wait, no. No, no, no. I. If we want to end. Uh, no. Because I still want to be at 6 Ember at least. And play this creature. Yeah, and now we have six ember. Even though we can't steal anything, we are still at six ember, which is which forced him to do something. Okay. I like my hand right now, since we have an option for a good untamed turn. Where we just play these. Reap a bit and then the key charge thing. Or we could play the horseman of war and, it, and fight a lot. First, let's see what he wants to do. First, let's see what he wants to do. We still have our bait and switch. He, like I said, he discarded, like he already drove through his whole deck. So he, that's, that's unlikely that he will get it back for the race for the last key. Now, this is a pretty long game already. We have 27 minutes recording time and still we are, both only have one key so far. But let's see. The game obviously would have been different if my opponent would understand how, to, how the war chest works. But at this point, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't uh, like I can't. I, I tried my best. I, tried, I did explain it to him, but he still did it wrong. So now it's like whatever. He, my opponent doesn't want to do it. He still he does it again. Just when I'm talking about it, plays the war chest, activates the war chest. I don't get it. I don't get it, man. I did explain. Do you have to do it the after you fought, not before? Then he readies, kills something. Captures one, gets rid of one, and then he does it again. Does he want to do it again? That's the question right now. Plays Punch. Does two damage horsemen of Famine. Plays the Grenade Swip. It is ready. Okay, and then he can do this. Captures one more. So he has six Ember right now. So now it's actually a good time to bait and switch. And I could do two damage to him, gain that Ember back. Okay, he actually wants to fight more. But that gives me my ember back. So the delivery does that. Okay. So now, um, yeah, I just have to play Sanctum, right? And play the bait and switch. That is a pretty strong turn on this part. Play my own bait and switch. Play the horseman off thing. Just reap. But no, I don't want to. Why can't I reap a few? He's ready, right? Why can't I? I can't. Why can't I not reap a few? Is that a, a bug? Like I can still? I don't want to end my turn. I want to reap a few. Oh, wait, let me say, end turn. I couldn't. Why could I reap a few? Did I? Did I miss something? It was a, you saw it, I pl clicked on it, but nothing happened. So that, okay, that seemed to have actually been bugged. Or does he have any card which like prevents me from reaping? No, do you play a card which prevents me from reaping? No, neither as well. So that seemed to have been a bug, which could have been annoying because that obviously would have brought me to six Ember. Which makes everything a bit troublesome. But to be fair, we have a, like we can still get a key next turn, very likely. 
But still, that might have been very annoying. It depends what he has. Like, if he has something to get rid of one, then it doesn't really matter, I want to say. I mean, it's still one ember there, so... End of this, does nothing. Plays a rise, gets his... Yeah, gets his... Oh, he gets, actually gets his thing creatures back. Then the archives a card. And that means I get a key. That means I will get a key. Yep, yeah, because I can call a taint. Play this creature first, to the left. Play this creature to the left. Play this creature to the left, gain two ember. Then reap with you to gain another two ember, and then play the, the key charge. Yes, we want to forge a key. And then we have two keys and two ember, and we have this board advantage. And we have, we have the bait and switch back. <laughs> nice. And we have a good shadow hand. So cool, cool, cool. Now we have, and they have this this combination. I like, like Richard, if he has a lot, of, plays a lot of creatures, obviously. But he probably will play Brobner right now. No, see, but that's pretty lucky that we have like we grew for our whole deck and got the bait switch right away back. So that's pretty lucky. We have to be honest right here. That was pretty lucky. But that's part of the game. Like you can't. You can't always be mad at being unlucky. You have to keep the balance by being luck uh, happy if you get lucky as well. <laughs> so yeah, he fights the... I don't know, actually know what he fights. The Do Fairy, okay. And then he kills the Do Fairy. Gets rid of one and captures one. Yep. Why is it 6 Ember? Did I miss something? Oh, it only just loses one. Does it gain an ember? Oh, he played the, the Mighty Javelin. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's where the ember came from. And now... Water puts it back to in hand, so I get my ember back. And now he rages again to make me lose my ember again. And kills what? The Fluxia, okay. Okay, 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 okay. And yeah, that very much means for me we can just call Sanctum and play good bait and switch. Because my... yeah, my... I mean, I can steal one and force him to gain more Ember, which I think I want to do because the other... that Sanctum, Sanctum is not a pretty good, very good play I can do right now. So I'd rather play you. Yeah, I have to play the Dust Run on it. Otherwise, it wouldn't make. Returning, but returning these to hand doesn't really help me either. So I could do. Hmm. Since I have to do the Dusk Runner thing. I'll just play the Bait and Switch and hope to draw. Just play this to gain Ember and reap a few. Yeah, let's just, let's just do this. Because. Like, I can't play Booby Trap, and using this would be annoying because it would give this back to his hand, so he has his whole combo again, so... i rather just do this. Play my Bait and Switch again. Play you to gain Ember. And fight with you to get rid of the War Drummer. Because that way it means I can Lights Out. Without worrying about that. Yeah. And it didn't make a difference if I reaped that or killed that, because he holded an Ember from me, so... Like, either I gain through eeping or I gain one through destroying this, so... Currently, we are obviously very much ahead. He has three ember, one key, we have five ember and two keys. But his whole uh, artifact line is pretty pretty hard to deal with. And this game, I guess this game would be a lot different if my opponent would understand how the war chest works. <laughs> so ember gets his archive back, okay. And plays, I guess plays something to steal. One assume. But Shadows at least means he can't use any of his artifacts. His artifacts are all Brobner and and this. Puts a man cursor. You can easily get rid of that with the Seeker Needle. I mean, but he still can't fight the steel one. So yeah, get rid of my, yeah that. That makes sense. Steals one. And captures one. 
Then my javelin gets rid of Nithle. Nice guys, plus one of that. Let's not eat beef. Oh, that's a very nasty lights out I have here. Ooh, that's a very nasty. I like it. I'm a big fan. Big fan. <laughs> lights out here. And Seeker Needle there. And he basically goes to the hand just to gain two. Okay, so that means I still have to steal one through the thing. So first, play Shadow. Play the Bad Penny. Play the Dust Runner. So new to reap with you and steal him one. Then we play the Bully Trap to kill basically these three creatures. And then we can use the Seeker Needle to kill you. And that means we had eight Ember and he's at five. And yeah, that's pretty much, it's looking pretty good. <laughs> it's looking pretty good. Okay, he caught Shadows again. So that means he too much to protect. I'm back at six. I currently can't... Okay, Reddit's Whispers steals me another one. He's at 10. I can't prevent that. Yeah, I literally can't prevent that. Um, so the best thing I think I can do right now is just call Sanctum. Reap one, so I'm back at 6. Yeah. Just play the you. Play you. Left. And then Reap a few. Three back at 6. The good thing is since they have 4 power, 4 armor... It's very unlikely that he can destroy these and like use the Pile of Skulls effect. Currently I'm a check, obviously, and I'm for Vanas Key, but he has four Ember Squares, so he, that, that uh, too much protect in combination with the Lens Whispers was pretty good, but I think that's all the Ember Control we, we could expect from him. He calls Brotna. Does he have a Valdre? He does have Valdre, goddammit. That's one of the few creatures which actually can destroy these. Then he plays a Rock Oak. Grenade Snip. Because that means he can actually destroy two creatures as well. Because that means he can kill one, then the other one loses the two armor, and then he can ready this and kill another one. But he played three creatures right now, so that means I can actually activate the Life Web. I can actually do that. Which is cool. Then he reaps that. So. I can do. What are the options? I can steal two with the with the life web. Play my ancient bear. And gain to get to eight ember. So that just reaping with him. I would gain to. But then he can. Uh, watch with my jigger. Do this again. So I think the best I can do right now. Because this gives me two ember as well. It's just called untamed. First, obviously, play the life web, steal two, then play the ancient bear, and have the bear fight with the ogre. So both die, but I gain my two ember back. And now with nine ember, I don't have any creatures, so he can't use fighting pile skulls thing, and he can't really kill that since he has nothing to crash it into. And I'm at nine ember, and I hope that's enough. <laughs> like I said, I have still, I have still uh, the uh, the shadow package right here. I can steal one stuff like that. He costs this, okay. He has a sucker boss. Does, what does he need? He would need a drumble. So he's to make sucker boss ready. He has. Master of three. But he drawn through his whole deck and I didn't saw one drumble, so I think I'm fine. Hand of this. Discard that. That's not enough. Granite Swip. Kills his own Granite Swip, which isn't enough. Okay, but that is a nice combo, of obviously, to get rid of his Granite Swip. Then control the weak. That's not enough as well. I think that's, that's GG. That is a pretty long game, but that's a definitely a GG. Let's see... GG, yeah, it's a GG, it seems. GG! Yeah, good game! Um, I did tell him how the war chest works, and he still did it wrong. So, the game would have been a lot different, to be fair. It would have been a lot different. Very close game, very good game, but there it is, he left the game. Why, it, why people left the game? Just concede. Whatever. Doesn't really matter since there's no letter or points or whatever. But uh, yeah, that's enough for this upload. That was obviously a pretty long game. We did manage to win through that. Of course, the opponent not understanding watchers did help a lot. But uh, yeah, this not having artifact destruction is obviously a weakness. It's like we saw right here. He had a lot of artifacts and he could use them in yeah a nice succession. Especially the Pilot Skulls plus the uh, Gauntlet Command is a very nasty combo. 
Both war chests, obviously, as well, but we couldn't really see that. But uh, yeah, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe. You know the deal. Hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, all the links in the description. And I will see you another time. Ciao.